Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're here with the Beta 300 RR. Um, we've put a few new things on it and um, I'll go over those in uh, other videos. Uh, we've got a recluse left-handed brake. Been having, uh, enjoying that for about 20 hours now on the bike and I also got a Voyager Pro um, on this or from Trail Tech. Really been liking that. So I'll go over those a little bit in uh, other videos. Um, what I'm going to go over today is a uh, rubber mounted handlebar clamp uh, from BRP. Uh, the reason I'm putting this on, uh, as far as arm pump guys, I, I've gotten, my arm pump has almost went away completely. Um, you guys suffering from arm pump, I'm going to tell you right now, the only thing that is going to cure arm pump is seat time. You just got to ride. Uh, it's just the name of the game. Now if I race, Will I get arm pump? Yeah, it's, it's just a whole nother, I'm tensed up a little, a little bit more and yes, I will get arm pump if I race. But just riding, pretty much go all day now without an arm pump. The only problem that I am having is my hands go completely numb. Um, the only thing I can contribute that to is I am 6'1", so being 6'1", I'm bent over a little bit more and I have more weight on my hands or it can be engine vibration. Now this year Beta did come out with a counterbalancer. Did it help? Yes. It is better than the previous models, but is it as good as KTM bikes? KTM, Husqvarna, Gas Gas, stuff like that. Um, I don't think so, no. Um, this is almost where KTM was as far as the counterbalancer maybe five years ago. It could be better, so what I'm going to try to do, because Beta is completely solid, solid mounted, which means from the frame to the handlebars, the only thing that's stopping vibration, even in the slightest, is my grips. It's completely solid mounted all the way up to the handlebars. So we're going to fix that and see if that helps any, and then I'm going to give you guys my review at the end of this video if it helped or not. Um, I'm kind of skeptical if it will or not, but hey, let's get it on there and let's, let's, let's see. In the package, I got this from Scott's, Scott's Performance. Uh, you guys know them from uh, their steering stabilizers. Um, I didn't opt to get the steering stabilizer. I don't think I really need it right now unless I start doing some high speed desert. Um, I don't think I'm going to need it, so I just opted out of it. This clamp will take a steering dampener at the bottom. It is their sub mount. Um, right now, when you get it, it has installed the harder rubber mounts, and then they also come with the softer ones. Um, I have a buddy that's about 200 pounds that run wished he would have put the blue ones in. Um, I'm 250 pounds, but he also races too, so he puts a lot more strain on his handlebars than I do because I don't do a lot of racing, just a lot of trail riding. So I think I'm going to put it, I'm going to try the blue ones, and then if I think they're too soft, we'll throw in the red ones. Also it comes with some bolts, some instructions, and then I also got these uh, clamps here that are actually take place of these clamps, and it'll go right into my Syker handguards make it a little bit sturdier instead of bolting it what we have going on here having them sit on so I'm gonna gain this much room on my handlebars getting rid of these um, also guys you see the monstrosity of shit that I have stacked up just to get my handlebars a little bit higher because I am so tall and I didn't want to be leaned over if I'm leaned over on this bike all day long my lower back will start hurting so I tried bring the handlebars up it helped my back a little bit more, but I feel that it kind of gets rid of the stable feel of the bike. These are made to be right down on the triple clamps, and I think that's the way the bike's supposed to handle. So we're just going to change this up a little bit sturdier. This looks completely jank. That, that just looks like something could go wrong. So let's get these on and see how they feel. And I ended up, did put uh, the smaller riser on it. So we're going to go ahead and torque this down. It says 30 foot pounds, which to me sounds like an awful lot. But that's what it says, so that's what we'll do. Okay. 
There we go. We are installing the clamps with the bolts, some Loctite, and then those will be torqued down to 20 foot pounds. The, the clamps, get the sticker off, the clamps difference here. There's a definite significant uh, beef quality and size. This one looks about an inch. This one I'd say was about three quarters, so it's covering more of the bar. Just a really nice piece from BRP here. Lager. Is that laser etched? Laser etched into the aluminum, into the billet. Really nice piece. Bar clamps, they tell you to use a small amount of NICs or grease to prevent these from seizing up on the aluminum. So we're going to get that on here. show you what it looks like as soon as it's done and then you also torque these to 24 to 26 foot pounds it said uh, 24 to 26 foot pounds but that's I ain't going anymore yet. <laughs> so uh, you do what you guys want if you want to torque those down all the way to 25 foot pounds you go right ahead but uh I ain't doing it, so. Yep, just have to put in the bolts here and then we'll be done. Pretty nice looking piece of uh, equipment. So let's go out and test it, see if it actually works. I'm kind of skeptical, don't really know. So. Let's give it a shot. I've been running the BRP clamp now for probably five hours. And uh, as far as arm fatigue or anything like that, I really can't tell a difference, guys. Um, when I first took off on it, I thought I could feel a difference. And it might give a little bit, but I don't, when it comes to the money for it, I think you're better off just putting the money elsewhere. Um, just buy more fuel, ride longer, get your arms in shape, because I don't think it makes that big of a difference. Now, another reason I put this on here is I can run the steering stabilizer, and that I might do later down the road so but if I had to do it again honestly guys I probably wouldn't buy it we're on uh, the Tomahawk Trail we're uh, about four or five miles into the ride and uh, we're gonna run the entire B loop don't exactly know how far it is but really nice day 70 degrees out got six of us here but yeah, guys, uh, that's kind of the review on the BRP clamp. What's white one here? What's up? Oh. All right, back on the trail. Yeah, so for you guys looking for a bar clamp to help with your arm fatigue, I might want to try the, you might want to try the Mako 360. I know it is a little bit more, but uh, as far as the BRP one, I don't think it makes too big of a difference. It's a good concept, 
and I'm sure it helps my fatigue a little bit, but as of now, I, I'm still getting numb in the hands and everything. Now, I didn't expect it to get rid of it all, so there's that, but you guys can just sit back and watch as much of this, the rest of the video as you want. We're just gonna go riding here, and that's my review, I guess. Have a good one.